You cheat on me and don't show any remorse. That's too far over the line. Aw, are you angry? You know you can divorce me and also ask for alimony, right? Personally, it won't cause any damage. Trouble busters! I'm absolutely famished. I wonder what's for dinner today. Hmm? Today is Mark's favorite fried chicken. Mark? Oh, silly me. It was your favorite fried chicken, Alan. <laughs> Who the hell is Mark? Why do you ask? After all, my name is Alan, but what you just said was Mark. Did I? You did. You said Mark instead. Well, you needn't worry about that. Don't tell me. Is he a lover or something? <laughs> just kidding. That's right. What? Sorry to have kept you waiting. The chicken's ready. Marianne, are you really cheating on me? And I'm telling you that I am. No way! It's also the fault of the person being cheated on, you know. It's my fault! Mark has a better social standing and income than you and is above Alan in all respects. You cheat on me and don't show any remorse? That's too far over the line! Aw, are you angry? You know you can divorce me and ask for alimony, right? Personally, it won't cause any damage. What do you mean? My boyfriend volunteered he would pay for the alimony. No, what, what a damn day! My name is Alan. My wife and I have been married for two years, and I thought married life together was going great. But then I discovered her affair. Is this the reality? Now that I've calmed down a bit after a good night's sleep, I decided to ask her again for more details. Marion, can we talk? We have some fried chicken left over from last night. You can eat that. Listen. Eh? Got a problem? It's a pain to make breakfast. Hey, wait a minute. What? What you said yesterday, was that true? What? No, no, no. You revealed to me that you were having an affair, right? Yep. And? What do you mean, and? Why did you? I thought things were going well for us. Going well? <laughs> now that's funny. You didn't notice any changes in my feelings recently? What happened to you all of a sudden? It wasn't a sudden thing. I put my hand on my chest and thought about it. To be honest, Mark's far better than you, and that's the truth. What? I am thinking about how much I want to break up with you and marry Mark instead. What? Well, you think about it, okay? I personally don't care either way. You might even make a profit because my boyfriend said he would pay the alimony for me. That's beside the point. It looks like it's going to be a hassle, so I'm going to go out for a while. Hey, Marion! I was really shocked. To be honest with you, I've always forgiven her for everything so far because of my weakness and my genuine love for her. But this time I was truly pissed off, so I tried to find out who the other person was by contacting a detective agency. Is this Alan Thompson? I work for the detective agency. Yes, Alan Thompson speaking. Thank you very much. As requested, we've thoroughly investigated the individual. Thank you so much. The information will be sent to your home address, so please have a look through it. I made an appointment to meet with Marion's sweetheart through the detective agency. And three days later, when I went to meet him with my lawyer with me, things took an unexpected turn. I think it's the one sitting in the back. By any chance, are you Alan Thompson? Yes, Mr. Peterson. Oh, and, and this is my lawyer, Mr. Morrison. I'm so glad to meet you. My name is Mark Peterson. Huh? Please, have a seat. Would you like something to drink? Uh, no, thank you. I see. That's a shame. You know why I came this time, sir? Of course. It's about Marion, isn't it? How are you so excited despite knowing why I'm here? Yes, well, I do understand that it's a bad thing if you think about it in general, but personally, I don't think so. Huh? And I've also heard a lot from Marion, you see. Based on what I've heard, I think you cannot make her happy. Huh? I believe that I am the one who can make such a wonderful person as Marion happy. What are you saying all of a sudden when we only just met for the first time? But of course, I will fulfill my responsibilities. Huh? How much money do you want? I can pay you more than the standard amount for alimony. I would do anything to be with her. You're being deceived by her, you know. Excuse me? 
When the topic of divorce came up, she said with a smug face that my boyfriend volunteered he would pay for the alimony. Personally, it won't cause any damage. <laughs> no way. She can't be the kind of woman who would say something like that. She's unfortunately skilled at playing the role of a strong woman. I know how you feel because I was deceived too. No, she has a pure heart. She told me she would never leave me, even if I went broke. Oh, I think this guy has her hands around his throat completely. Mr. Thompson, if I may? Mr. Morrison, my lawyer who was present, made a suggestion. The reason was that Mark probably wouldn't back down any other way. With this strategy, perhaps this person can wake up to reality and exact revenge on Marion. Regarding the matter of adding on to the alimony, I decline it. No, no, you don't have to be so reserved, sir. As long as I can marry Marion, I don't care how much I pay. It's not a matter of how reserved I am. But what I want is not money, sir. Then what is it? I'll do anything. I don't want to gloss over this incident, so I'm thinking of filing a lawsuit. A lawsuit? How drastic! <laughs> I'm serious. A lawsuit is meaningless, Mr. Thompson. The amount of alimony will also be reduced. I still want a lawsuit. Uh, well, could you please reconsider that? I decline. But the trial will be disadvantageous for you, you see? You'll get less money, it'll take more time, and isn't that right, Mr. Morrison? If Mr. Thompson, my client, wishes to do so, who am I to persuade him otherwise? No. Then let's meet again at the courthouse. P please, wait a moment. What's the matter? Please, could you just forget about going to court? What are you talking about now? Did you finally realize that Marion is deceiving you? Honestly, I don't want to feel like I'm being deceived because I love her. But she told me that she wanted to be with me and that she would pay her own alimony with the money that she had worked hard to save. Mr. Peterson, if you want to avoid a lawsuit, could you please cooperate with me? You're also someone who is deceived by her, are you not? I understand. Together, we decided to carry out a plan to take revenge on Marion. Unforgivable troublebusters. Hey! Hmm? Mark cut off all contact with me. It's your fault, Alan. You did something, didn't you? My fault? <laughs> oh, I'm sure that you brought this on yourself. Well, I did talk to him about you, and he said he wouldn't see you again. <laughs> that can't be. Whether you believe it or not is up to you, darling. Hey, what the hell? Usually I get a response in seconds. I'll demand alimony from you, all right? You better pay up. You know, I've said it many times, haven't I? Mark will pay for my alimony, so I don't really care. Do you really think so? Huh? When I met him the other day, he promised me that he wouldn't contact you anymore, nor will he ever see you again. Th that can't be, Alan. He and I are very much in love. Yeah, he did say something like that. Probably, yeah. It's impossible that our relationship will be broken just because you said something. But it wasn't impossible, see? Enough bullshit out of you. You probably said something too forceful anyway. No, something normal. What did you say? I asked him, shall we fight in court? Our relationship will not end just because you say something like that. Don't lie to me. It seemed like your sweetheart really didn't want to go through a lawsuit. He said that if it meant he wouldn't have to go to court, he'd listen to whatever I said. <laughs> and when I presented the conditions, he easily accepted them. What? What were the conditions? First, make sure that alimony is paid properly. That man is the son of the president of a large conglomerate, so there's no harm in him paying any amount. I know all that. I've been looking into things, too. So I offered them a fair amount, and he paid up. So now you can't take him to court? No, no, there are two more conditions, and I told him that these two were especially important. Two more conditions? What are they? One is to terminate his relationship with you and to become completely incommunicado. 
What? There ain't no way Mark would swallow that. No problem. Well, he did. That can't be. But you did lose contact with him now, didn't you? W well, sure. That guy was scared by the concept of a lawsuit and immediately accepted the conditions I presented, see? Huh? Oh. Hmm? But that's until after I divorce you, right? That's true. After you divorce me, I can't interfere in your love life at all. Then I understand. Understand what? Maybe he just won't contact me until you divorce me. <laughs> ha! But if he doesn't contact me before I divorce you, you won't sue him in court, right? Well, yeah, pretty much. Then there's no doubt. I have no doubt it will happen. Definitely his strategy. You would fail any pop quiz right now. No, I am sure of it. Now, down to business. Divorce me now. Well, that's what I was thinking, so I prepared the divorce forms. But are you sure? Yeah, I can't be with a man who's so goddamn arrogant. Understood. So can you please write your signature and whatnot in the divorce papers? I understand. Is this all right? Sure. And there we go. So all that's left to do now is submit this to City Hall. No, I want to contact Mark after we officially divorce, so let me do it now. Uh, but is it okay if we don't decide on the alimony? Again, it's okay for me because there's no damage to me in this case. I'll go and take care of this now. Marion said and rushed out without even listening to what I had to say. An hour later, she came back. I filed for divorce, so now you and I are strangers, right? Well, yeah, we are. Now, even if I contact Mark, you won't be able to say anything. That's certainly true. Good. I really need to tell him about this. Marion said so and called Mark, but of course he didn't answer the phone. That's strange. There's no way he'll answer the phone, sweetheart. Oh, right, because he still doesn't know that I'm now divorced. Well then, I'll send him a DM. Mark, love, I officially divorced Alan now. You won't be sued for this, so please feel free to contact me. I'm sure he'll reply now. Oh, he read it already. Let's go. However, no matter how long she waited, Mark never contacted her. And even when Marion called out of frustration, he didn't answer. Why? I told you, didn't I? He said he wouldn't see or hear from you ever again. He won't contact you himself, so personally, I think it would be better to give up. This can't be happening. Uh, that man is completely head over heels with me. If you don't believe me, that's fine. Alan, you know something else, don't you? You set something up, eh? Nope. I just presented him with conditions to avoid going to court. To which he said he understood. That's it. Then I should be able to contact him, right? Wait. Hmm? Come to think of it, how many conditions were there? Three. Oh, and I only heard two of them, didn't I? That's right. By the way, what's the third condition? That it is absolutely prohibited for him to take over the alimony I'll demand from you. What? Why would you- For me, divorce was not only obvious, it was axiomatic. And I was also planning on demanding alimony. If that's the case, there's no need to prohibit him from taking over the alimony. Because Mark was completely fooled by you, and honestly, I felt sorry for the guy. What do you mean? It seemed like he would do it if I didn't prohibit him from paying it, see? You crafty little bastard. Well, no matter how hard you try, he will never contact you. And he also said to demand alimony from you too. So I'm taking the liberty of doing just that. But why? No matter how you look at it, it's only natural. You were unfaithful during your marriage, so why not? No personal damage, my ass. No, please, no. How could... Mark said he'd pay the alimony. And that ain't frickin' happening. <laughs> oh, and now that I think about it, it seems like it would be quite troublesome for him to be sued, you see? What do you mean? Mark is most likely an executive of his father's company, right? It seems like he's going to become president in a little while, but before that, he must avoid any and all scandals. What? 
With that being said, if society finds out that he had tampered with someone else's wife like he did this time, his appointment as the next president will be in jeopardy. No. Yes. So he cooperated with me in many ways, hoping to avoid a public trial. You could always stop threatening to sue him. I am stopping, as long as he abides by our agreement. Uh. He paid me alimony and terminated my relationship with you. So I won't be able to sue him in court unless he pays for your alimony too. Hey, now wait a second. Hmm? It's not like Mark agreed to those conditions, did he? I thought I made that clear. I told you he actively cooperated with me. More to the point, he was actually quite disappointed in you, Marion. Huh? Why is that? At first he said he would do anything to have you. But when he found out about your mask, his love turned into a desire for revenge. Hey now, what did you say to him? Nothing other than your true feelings. I have to make an excuse to him now. Damn, you sure are stubborn. He said it clearly, see? What? I don't need Marion if it's going to hurt my career. There is no way you'd say something like that, right? You mean before he knew your true nature, right? The moment a man realizes that the woman he loves deceived him, the feelings instantly cool down, so how about you give up? No way. I will send you an invoice for the alimony later through my lawyer, so please make sure to pay it, huh? Alan, can you listen to me? What's the matter? I, I think I was probably having a bad dream. I see. And what kind of bad dream? Uh, for some reason, Mark told me that he would make me happy in the future. Huh. Anyone would feel the same way I did if a candidate for the next president of a large conglomerate said something like that, right? Oh, what do you mean? Um, I wanted to be rich. I see. Well, then I guess I'm not for you. But I realized something. Realized what? After all, money can't buy love, right? I think so, too. Right? You think so, too, right? Yes, I actually saw it with my own two eyes. Huh? The very moment someone mercilessly cuts away even the woman a man fell in love with if things become dangerous. No matter how much money you have, you can't buy love, right? Marion, next time let's each find someone good for both of us. Huh? No, that's not... I don't know what you want to say. Please tell me properly. Look, I want to start over with you. That's impossible. Huh? Why? We have the same ideas, right? That's true, but not at the fundamental level. How dare you say that? You showed absolutely zero remorse when you became the villain, revealed that you were cheating on me, and right when things don't go well for you, you come crying back. No, that's... Uh, I realized, you see, what true love is. If so, you might discover a different kind of love then. No, that won't happen. Can you truly say that? Can you promise that? That's... yes, I can. So, can I just ask you one question? What? If I said that if you would agree to the divorce right now, I won't ask for alimony... Huh? And on the other hand, if you don't agree to this divorce, I would demand alimony. And after getting paid, then I would think about whether or not we should try again. Huh? Which of those two would you choose? Uh, let's get divorced, and I don't want any alimony. I thought so. In the end, it's all about money. Do I have to pay alimony? Hell yeah! But didn't you just say so? I said if, Marion. What? I'm just glad I finally confirmed what your feelings are. No, you must have misunderstood. Eh? <laughs> What I wanted was to get the alimony claim waived and restart my marriage on clean terms. That's why I said what I said. No, no, that isn't possible anymore. <laughs> That's not fair. It's like you deceived me. You were the one who deceived me, right? What? Having a boyfriend even though you're married? Yeah, a great act of betrayal. It would be unreasonable for you to tell me that I'm being deceiving. <laughs> no, that's... 
No matter what you say, it won't change my intentions of divorcing you. I'll also ask for alimony. No, please. In the end, if you answered me saying that you wanted to start over with me even if it meant paying alimony, I might have thought about starting over. That was the right answer? There is no right or wrong answer. In any case, it's probably incorrect anyway since you cheated on me. But wait a minute. Uh, that's what I was thinking too. Huh? <laughs> because I said what I said because I wanted to get back together somehow. So you said you wanted to divorce and be spared of a claim for alimony despite hoping to start over with me? Start over with a clean slate. That's just an issue of perception. If I were to say things were clean between us, you'd make Mark's existence an excuse. <laughs> no one would understand that if you didn't tell them. I don't care about your answers to anything. Huh? I just wanted to know if you still loved me, Marion. And that's... Now I feel like you don't love me anymore. That's why I'm getting divorced. But that's your only damn choice. And it's your choice if you don't want a divorce, huh? What? And it's not that you don't want a divorce because you love me, but rather because you get in touch with the person you were having an affair with, so you just settled with me, right? Th that's not true. I've been fooled far too many times. I won't be fooled again. P please don't abandon me. Too late. You already filed for divorce, after all. You did, darling, not me. But that's... So I'm going now. Hope you find your happiness. Please, please, wait, please. After that, Marion and I got divorced. In the end, she was also abandoned by her lover, and she insists that she won't fall in love for the time being. She's now facing alimony payments, so she's currently working multiple part-time jobs and working hard to pay it all off. As for me, I met a lovely girl at a pottery class I started as a hobby. And I'm dating her now, with marriage in my sights. I'm determined to be happy this time. Trouble Busters!